you remember the whole sweet cakes thing in Oregon? Yes, yes. They, you can't discriminate in Oregon and you can't <laughs> deny people goods and services based on who they are. I thought that we solved all this in like the sixties, but apparently there's still debate about this. Um, the thing that irritates me about denying people goods and services based on their sex are the crazy arguments from the other side. Like people will say, well, you know, they're a Christian business and why should they make them, they shouldn't be forced to make them a gay themed wedding cake. And I'm like, it's, it wasn't a gay themed wedding cake. It was a wedding cake. <laughs> it wasn't a gay themed anything. It was a wedding Ryan, cake. Just like, yeah. Didn't you know though that when gay people get married, they have to have like rainbow flags on their cakes and right. Right. Like pictures of genitals everywhere. Like, right. Unicorns and get, right. <laughs> get with the program. It's like, unless that cake is in the bakery's catalog and they provide it for straight people, then yeah, there's probably no expectation that they'd provide it for gay people either. But, you know, they, the thing that irritates me is when I'll see people who are not it doesn't come from a religious place of who gay people are bad cooties and should go to hell. But I'll see people have these pseudo intellectual conversations about, well, you know, it's a gray line. It's, you know, it's a, um, it, it's their private business. And so, and so the, these like these people who latch on to some kooky thing they've heard Ron Paul or Rand Paul say, and they think they're that libertarianism will create a utopia. And so they try and have these, pseudo intellectual conversations about, well, but you know, it's the, it's the business owner's ride and free market, free market will decide. And that's how it should be. You know, let the free market decide. But people forget that for like 99, a hundred years, the free market in the South decided that there was tons of demand for businesses that refused service to black people. Mm -hmm. And it was only until the government stopped, stepped in that said, okay, this is a prime example of where the free market is making the quality of life for people absolutely miserable. So we're going to stop in. We're going to tell you, you can't discriminate. And people will say, well, would you want to go to a bakery where they don't like gays in the first place and where they don't think you should? And I'd say, no, I personally wouldn't want to, but it's not like they tell you that and it shouldn't be relevant in the first place. You should just be able to go into a business and get the exact same service as everyone else. And even, you know, just hypothetically speaking, if you were in a big city and there was lots of cake shops and you knew this one cake shop was anti-gay, theoretically, yeah, you could go to a cake shop that isn't anti-gay. Hopefully one would exist. But what if you don't live in a diverse area or a big city? You know, you live in a small conservative town, let's say, and there's only a single business. And, you know, the, and then maybe you have to drive, you know, a few miles to find the one business that will service you. But because they know that they're your only option, they'll jack up their prices you know, quadruple their prices for you or something. You know, there's all kinds of nasty things that can happen. So the best thing is just for businesses to not discriminate against people based on race, orientation, gender, sex, blah, 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 blah. I don't understand why this is an issue for people. Honestly, I think that it makes some people feel superior. Like they are, um, what is the word I'm looking for? They're like forcing their beliefs on other people. And so they, they feel superior about it. Jesus doesn't uh, want me to make these people a cake. Yeah. So like, I'm, you know, I'm better than that. I'm not going to do that because, you know, that goes against my beliefs. Most religious people that I know are like hoity toity and feel like they are above everybody else. And I, I really think that has a lot to do with it. Um, at church, I noticed that, especially when I used to go, because keep in mind these people, and it's not definitely not all Christians, but the type of Christian that you and I are talking about that would do something like this, discriminate against people and hate on people, they feel like they have already reached the, the, the final level in Super Mario World. Okay. <laughs> they, they have gotten to the highest point that they can possibly get to. They're saved. They're taken care of. You know, it doesn't make right. any difference. And they look at everyone else who hasn't, who hasn't beaten, uh, Satan Bowser yet as <laughs> deficient. So why would they lower Everybody them? else is the Luigi's of the world. Everyone else is the Luigi's <laughs> of the world. And they're not helping Luigi beat Satan Bowser if they cave into their immorality in some way. Right. I'm, and again, I'm so sick. So that analogy was probably like so bizarre. <laughs> 
but I know what you're you going to listen to this later and be like, uh, <laughs> like that was a mistake to record. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for people that say that the free market is going to, will solve, uh, People who say the free market will just take care of any discrimination issues, they are wildly ignorant of the history of the United States. I mean, well, sh- and that's a lazy response. Yeah, it is. To a problem like, oh, it's going to take care of itself. Yeah, it's because they don't want to do shit to fix it. Yeah, and by the way, that sweet cakes thing—they they were fined so much, and that turned into such a big thing because they doxed the lesbian couple. Exactly. That's what people don't talk about right they don't talk about the fact that they went on their facebook and they were like hey everybody here's the names and phone numbers and addresses of yeah and so these poor women were like given death threats and i'm sure followed by psychos yeah because i think it happened in a pretty like a kind of small town here in oregon which a lot of people don't know there's a lot of really conservative people in oregon yeah i i had i had seen a comment on reddit during uh, when I was reading through one of the one of the threads on this, and they were talking about how ridiculous um, the idea is about the free market taking care of problems, and it's like, so I guess there 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 should be no government regulations for um, for accessibility when it comes to wheelchair ramps. We'll just let the uh, huge market forces for disabled individuals get that done, right? Like, come on. Kind of the final point about the cake thing. I want to live in a society and we should all want to live in a society where our neighbors are rational minded individuals. Okay. And it's not rational to say, well, you know, these people, the voices in their head are telling them that they should be able to (laughs) deny the same goods and services that they provide to everyone else to this specific group because, because iron aged reasons that's corrupt thinking. And so for people who already are not suckered into the religious extremism and bigotry, for them to sit around and try and come up with some pseudo intellectual reason and some lazy reason, like, so free market will take care of it. I have no idea what I have no idea about my own country's history and how that didn't work and why the government needed to step in. (laughs) You know, don't do it. Push for rational thinking, push for rational behavior. And that means that everyone is entitled to the same goods and services. We all pay taxes for the roads that go in front of these people's stores. You know, I mean, more or less, we're all in this together. And that means that when I walk into a store, I'm sorry, but I don't want the humiliation of ordering some service that they provide to everyone else and being told, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It's just, it's because I love you so much, but you're just, you're sick and I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to provide you with the same goods and services. I don't want to experience that humiliation. Call me crazy. And that would have, you know, a nasty impact on my mental well being to some extent. And you can see why, you know, like what a shitty thing to have happen to you. So yeah. just use your head and promote rational governance. I, I understand that, you know, we have freedom of religion and we have, but like the saying goes, your, your freedom, your freedom ends at your freedom to swing your fist ends at your neighbor's chin. So your freedom, you're free to practice your religion, to go to church, to pray, to do it, you vote however you want based on your religion. But when it comes to you, your treatment of other people, and when bigotry and discrimination comes in to the picture, that should never be acceptable. And no decent human being would ever be in favor or try and find some cutesy way to excuse discrimination or bigotry. I, I, that's a real, I think, that's real moral confusion for people, whether or not it's based on religious ideology or based on some other political ideology that they just think makes them sound like an intellectual. We should never, ever, ever stand by while people are being discriminated against for who they are, race, you know, sex, gender, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what's the next topic? <laughs>